Yeah, the heat's on because it's chilly. Wait, did I say chilly? Oh, that sounds like what we could do for dinner. What do you say? You want to do it with me? Chili for chili? Let's do this. Woo! David, aka RV Jedi, and tonight it's a little chilly outside. It's a little chilly inside, so we're gonna have, yeah, you get it, a little chilly. So we're gonna do a little different version of this chili. We're gonna do it in a cast iron skillet on the grill because I love that smoky flavor and I'm outside and wanna do that. Uh, we're gonna use some ground beef, some beef chorizo, some um, onions and red peppers. We've got some garlic. Uh, we've got some other spices that are gonna go in there as well. And then we are going to top it off with something special, Wisconsin inspired. So let's get everything started. First, we got to get that mise en place all ready to go. And then uh, we want to start the fire, get the pan hot, and then start layering things into the pan as it starts to cook. So here's everything we have. Again, the uh, red peppers and onions. We've got some crushed tomatoes. Uh, here we have chili ground um, uh, uh, beef. Uh, and then underneath it, there's some uh, beef chorizo. We've got some A1, some hot sauce, some ketchup, uh, garlic, uh, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, um, and uh, some chili powder all mixed in here. We've got some garlic, we've got some tomatoes, all of this to make some beautiful chili on the grill. So right now, just waiting for the fire to get nice and hot. What'll happen after that is I'm gonna take my cast iron skillet. I have a little bacon grease that I used uh, earlier today. Put that in the skillet, start heating that up, getting it warm, and then we'll start with layers. We'll start um, a little bit with the onions and peppers. We'll then go into the meat. Uh, we'll add the um, uh, tomatoes after that, and then just kind of keep adding layers and then get the spices in there as well. fat in the skillet and everything all hot. Time to get those onions and peppers into this skillet. Next in, you want to take your beef and chorizo and get it into the pan and start stirring it all up. So the onions and peppers are in. We've got the beef chorizo and uh, the ground beef, the chili ground beef in there. Uh, we're gonna let that go for a little bit. I'm gonna cover it for just a little bit uh, and then we're gonna start adding some of the spices in. You wanna make sure you incorporate the chorizo in with the ground beef and get that really all mixed in together before you start adding in the rest of it. And then next, the crushed tomatoes and some real tomatoes. So time to load up the chili. We've got some minced garlic there, a little A1 sauce, a little ketchup that'll add a little sweetness to it and some hot sauce along with your spice blend. Mix that up and get it going. It is done. The chili is ready. We're gonna grill up some uh, bread to go with the chili. And then it's time to plate this bad boy up and eat it.
and there you have it, spicy chili done on the grill. Uh, I've got some Alaskan amber beer to drink. I've got some uh, grilled um, garlic bread as well. And then of course, uh, the movie for tonight, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Yeah, the original. This really is bad, but really so good. Thinking about so good, how about we try this? It's hot. Whew. This is the perfect mm, meal for a chilly night and a really good movie. Again, you don't have to eat poorly on the road. You can do something easy like this. Just take uh, about an hour to put it all together. I usually don't even eat chili the night I make it. I like to let it set, but this, oh, this is good. I'll put a link to how I do all of this in the show notes underneath. Uh, and then, of course, you can go over to rvjedi.com to get the full recipe. That's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at rvjedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at rvjedi.com. Get out there, eat fun like this, and let me know how it turns out. Have a great one.